Well, hello, church family. Uh, just wanted to say a friendly hello from the confines of my church office here. Thanks to Laura Perswell, who's allowed me to borrow her video camera. Uh, and I've attached it to my computer here. Uh, we're able to do some of these video blogs uh, together. And hopefully that's one way of, that we can stay connected over the coming weeks. Um, back when I was a much younger pastor, uh, I served a church in Fulton, Illinois. It's a small rural community right along the banks of the Mississippi River. And we had a number of uh, farmers that were members of that church. One day I was walking along the road along with one of these farmers. And on one side of the road was a whole field of corn and on another side of the road was a whole field of soybeans. And we have had an abundance of rain uh, during that spring and early summer. And so his statement to me was rather surprising. He said that my crops are especially vulnerable this year. Even a slight drought lasting a week or two over the next month or two could be approved pretty disastrous. And, and that was confusing to me, and so I asked him why. And then he went on to explain to a non-farmer like me that oftentimes we look at an abundance of rain as a good thing because the crops look healthy and strong. But he said that rain came precisely at the time in which the crops were developing their root system. And so frequent rain did not allow these crops to push their roots deep down into the soil and search for food. So instead, their root system remained rather shallow and didn't go much below the surface of the ground. And so even a slight drought could prove to be devastating because the crops weren't quite as developed as they should be. They did, weren't as strong as they appeared to be. Now, sometimes we as believers receive an abundance of blessings from the Lord, showers of blessings from God. We experience frequent and enjoyable times of worship and fellowship and teaching. We soak it all in, we absorb it, and we, we look strong on the outside. But then when these showers dry up and we experience a time of drought or absence of these blessings, we are often ill-prepared to meet that challenge. Disruptions in our routine or uncertainty regarding our future can cause some believers to wilt and to wither away rather than to remain firm and strong in the faith. The problem is that they haven't been required to push their roots deep down into, uh, into God, below the surface. And so they've remained rather shallow. But we have to remember that only deep roots will allow us to endure times of drought and distress. Now, I believe that this uh, cor coronavirus pandemic that we are all experiencing, I believe that through this pandemic, God is forcing us to grow deeper roots. He is providing us with an opportunity to become even more firmly rooted in him so that eventually, one day in the future, we will be able to produce more and better fruit for the glory of God. And so let me encourage you to take these words to heart. They're taken from Colossians 2, verses 6 and 7. So then, just as you received from Christ Jesus, as, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, so now continue to live in him and become rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Remember that without good roots, there won't be good fruits. Till next time.